Hey everybody, this is Scott from Underdog. Thanks for joining us. We're going to give people just a second for everyone to hop in. We're going to see who we have in the feed right now. All right, guys, if you guys can uh, mark in the, just um, type in the comments um, your name and what you bought in the break while we're waiting on other people to join in. Um, really quickly, what we're going to do is we are going to um, open up our box, our leaf bonus box from the Industry Summit while we wait people for people to join. Naturally, I don't have my knife right in front of me. I'm going to grab that, guys, and then we'll get going. After Actually, I'll grab that after we open this. So I was able to get this one open pretty easily. Well, except for those seals. No, I'm going to grab a knife. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, thanks. We've got Ryan that has the Astros. Um, Spectre FOT FOTL going to be a while. Actually, um, what did you buy, Ryan? Because we can do Sterling or Spectre first. We're not doing Panini Black until 9 o'clock. Excuse me, 10 o'clock Eastern. Spectre beers, okay. All right, it looks like we might have looks like we might have more Spectra watchers here. If so, we will crack into that first. It's also a pretty fast break. Okay, well, we'll while we're letting people join in, we'll open this box of Leaf, Leaf Bonus Box from the Industry Summit this past week in Vegas. Really awesome event. Lots of cool stuff going on about the hobby. We'll see what we pull here. These were given out one to every shop owner that and breaker that attended the industry summit in Vegas. We'll see what Mr. Gray put together for us. Woo! Ric Flair. Very nice. That is a Ric Flair one of one from the industry summit. I am a huge Ric Flair fan, guys. Big fan of the old NWA. Really sweet. As you know, Flair has done quite a bit for Leaf. Really cool stuff. Thank you, Leaf. This might be going um, onto our eBay store, or we might be keeping our collection for a while. We'll see. But either way, that's an awesome item. Anyone else a big Flair fan? Okay. Very cool. That is cool. Um... All right, that was a really bad whoo, by the way, guys. I've been coaching kids baseball today, so my voice is about shot, so I apologize. Um, there's a whoo that's legit. Um, okay, what we'll do is let's do Spectra first, since I believe we've got more Spectra watchers. The trick will be, I believe this is Spectra that we're opening up right here. Yes, it is. That's the first two boxes. I believe this one is the next. Spectra is an awesome product. 
How many of you guys have opened Spectra so far? How many people do we have on, on Facebook right now? Two others. Two others. Okay, guys. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Are the Jags Titans still 14-0? Um, it was 14-0 Jags in the first quarter just a little while ago. Garner Minshew was throwing dimes. Um, I think he hit DJ Shark for the second touchdown of the game. I think the spread closed at, at um, Jags plus two, which I took. So I'm hoping that they hang on and get the cover, even though I do cheer for the Titans. I had to make the right financial decision. It is still 14 nothing with two to go in the, in the half. 14 nothing with two to go in the half. Guys, that is Matt in the background. He's also watching the Facebook feed and um, keeping an eye on things for us. So he will be helping us out tonight. So here we go. That is a Daryl Henderson monumental patch. A Tony Pollard. Rookie auto. Starting off the Memphis box. That is the Memphis box. No doubt. That Pollard is 25 of 25. And the Henderson is 66 of 199. I think we now have the two Memphis um, grads, other than Guskowski, they're in the league right now, right? Who else do we have? Julio. Base. That's actually that's three of four. Excuse me. Beautiful card. Julio 304. And then we have an Ezekiel Elliott die cut. And that Elliott's numbered 16 of 50. All right, so Cowboys are off to a hot start. Um, as we've got Elliott and Pollard out of that box. You know, Pollard um, is projected to get, I think he had 28% of the carries um, last week. And I think they're going to really continue to use him to keep um, Elliott fresh for the year. I mean, the Cowboys look absolutely legit. So I think we will see a good deal of Pollard. All right. So that is a voltage David Johnson patch. 29 of 50. Oh, this is a sweet one. Charles Haley, illustrious legends, San Francisco 49er, Hall of Famer. That is an on-card on auto with his number. That is four of 99. We then have Jalen Ferguson. That is a rookie. Of the Ravens, and that is numbered to 199. And ending up with the best receiver in the NFL, at least the one that, that's the best and doesn't cause any trouble, that's Michael Thomas. And that is 6 of 10. Really great card. These are just beautiful cards. Okay, I'm going to stack here for a minute. All right, Michael Vaughn needs a nice Finley. A one of one Minshew. Someone's going to take advantage of the Jags. I'm looking good tonight. Nikki's pulling for the Chargers. And guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, please do that. That'll help us and also help you. That is a Justice Hill patch. Number to 15. Justice Hill is the backup running back for the Ravens, backing up Mark Ingram. Guys, I think we're going to see a lot of him this year. Um, absolute crazy speed, really elusive, kind of a um, Joe Mixon type of running back. TJ Hawkinson, often absolute stellar, absolutely stellar start. That's a patch auto, rookie, um, number to 25.
Stanley Morgan Jr. Bengals wide receiver. And that is numbered to 199. And then we have a J.J. Watt Blue Spectra that is 31 of 60. Really nice looking cards. So, so far, guys, what do we think? What do you think, Matt? What is our biggest hit? Probably, I would say that Tony Pollard rookie, right? Of course, that Julio Jones is a four, but nothing big yet. I'd say definitely Pollard at this point. Yeah. Okay, we've got a DJ Moore impact patch. And that's a number um, of not 50 of 99. Devin Singletary, rookie patch. He is definitely looking solid. And that's number 199. And then we have a McCole Hardman of the Chiefs. That is a rookie aura. And that is numbered 12 of 50. And last but not least, Anthony Munoz, Cincinnati Bengals Hall of Famer, 52 of 99. Okay, guys, not a home run box, admittedly, but we've got some good stuff here. Probably the Charles Haley, as well as the Tony Pollard rookie patch are the two big ones from this box, but you could also make an argument for the Devin Singletary rookie for the Bills. Okay, guys, we are going to clear the table on those. Of course, Hawkinson, I mean, he is off to a great start. Not a bad card either. So if you were a Cowboys guy, if you bought the Cowboys in the break, you definitely came out up on top. Now we're going to be cleaning these off here and taking really good care of them. Yeah, the Thomas is a solid hit. That's a good point. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to be doing um, the next box, the Spectra. And guys, we are getting more Spectra in, not more first off the line, but we will have more Spectra tomorrow. So if you guys want to buy whole boxes, if you want to do a break, you let us know. But this is it on first off the line. I think I think Mark Papp is watching. I'm curious who he picked um, tonight. I'm sure he was on the right side, whoever um, he did pick. Okay, guys, that's a J.J. Arcega white side. Eagles rookie wide receiver. Number to 99. Jason Witten patch. Number to 199. Hunter Win Renfro rookie patch. Former Clemson standout. Slot receiver, starting slot receiver for the Raiders. That's of 199. And a Randy Moss Spectra 7 of 10. Mickey is needing something for the Chargers. Are we getting any questions on Facebook? No. Okay, up top, that is a nice patch. Rookie Auto Patch. Of Bryce Love, former Stanford Cardinal. That is 21 to 25. Calvin Ridley, patch. That is numbered to 199. Got a Brady. Not an auto, guys. And that Brady is 22 of 50. Beautiful card. Uh oh. Oh, it's Blue Prism. I thought we had a Daniel Jones auto coming over. And that's 46 of 60 on the Daniel Jones. Still a really good card. 
gonna be a hot one okay two more packs in box number two what is everyone's prediction on Daniel Jones I'm a fan but I think it's gonna take time it's a Darius Slayton running back for the Giants rookie auto patch to 199 Zach Thomas I believe in the Hall of Fame, right? That is a Dolphins patch, number 299. This is a tri patch. Paris Campbell, rookie wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. I believe he's a former Buckeye, right? I think. That's one of 15. Really beautiful card. And our last card is an Edelman, serial base, 96 of 99. On Facebook, Pap contributed that he loves Daniel Jones. Okay, well, I am a fan of Daniel Jones as well. Of course, keep in mind, Pap, that I went 1-9 in our Pixel League last week. So I don't know if I would trust my judgment. I know I don't trust my own judgment right now. Okay, we have Brian Burns. Ricky Otto for the Panthers. Number to 99. Anthony Miller, that is a rookie patch. Oh, excuse me, Memphis second boy. year. Yeah, another Memphis guy, 5 of 99. Slot receiver for the Bears. I said rookie, he's actually a second-year player. But a solid one at that. Calvin Ridley, this is one of the rare prisms. I think this is numbered to 5 or less. That is a red prism. Oh, excuse me, numbered to 3 of 25. Then a Jamal Adams die cut. Green, beautiful card. Jets, strong safety, number to 30. Really like the die cuts. They did a nice job on that. No, they did. They look great. They they look really good condition. Good looking card. Okay, we're going to take these to the side, guys. I'll give the highlights really quickly. Um, probably the Renfro patch auto. Definitely the Jones rookie. To 60. Um, Bryce Love, rookie patch. Um, Darius Slayton, rookie patch. And then the um, Anthony Miller, probably patch, unless you're a Panthers guy, and then you'd be very happy with the Bron Burns. Okay, guys, we're going to clean the table on these and move to box number three. Matt is getting those loaded up for everyone. We will be attempting to get those out ASAP. Um, paid a lot with only four packs left. Just looking for one hit. So are we, Mickey. We're pulling for you. Yeah, those two boxes, I mean, there, there were a couple, like, mini highlights, but not any home runs. You know what that means, guys. That means we're due. At least that's what I told myself when I was playing blackjack this weekend, and it actually worked out. We have a redemption on top of the first pack. That could be a good sign, guys. Okay. There's a Hakeem Butler... Um, Radiant Rookie Patch Signatures Neon Blue. I believe Hakeem Butler's with the Giants, right, Cook? I believe. I'm not sure. I'm almost certain. Okay, that's a Ray, Ray Lewis Patch. Sanu has a beautiful patch. Well, the Cardinals. Cardinals, okay. 14 to 25 on the green patch. Really pretty card. And then a Devontae Adams. That's a number to 10. Man, Mickey, we want to get you a charger, man. I don't know what other teams haven't showed yet. Okay, that's a Nikhil Harry. 
Rookie auto patch. The kill here. Yeah, I believe he's injured right now. That's of 20 to 25. Injured right now for the um, Patriots. TJ Hawkinson. Rookie patch. Monumental. Here is a charger. Easton Stick. Rookie aura. Numbered to 99. Easton Stick. He's the backup um, for Philip Rivers. Potential um, heir to the throne. And then Marshawn Lynch. He's just here because he had to be, guys. 14 to 99. Yeah, Mickey, the way rookie the way rookie quarterback cards are going, that is not a bad um, bad one. Here we go, another rookie quarterback, Trace McSorley. I believe former Penn State Nitt Nittany Lion. Trubisky. Patch. Number to 75. Carson Wentz, Patch. Very nice. Number to 199. And then Devin Singletary, Blue Prism rookie. That's um, 12 of 60. These are really tough to read, the, the serials on. Mark, did you buy anything tonight or are you just watching tonight, man? Oh, here we go. Chief Hall of Famer, Lynn Dawson. That is an on card auto. Um, six of ten. Beautiful card. Very nice hit. Josh Jacobs. This guy is looking like an early potential runner for the rookie of the year. That is a rookie patch. Number 23 of 99. Gary Jennings Jr., rookie running back for the Seahawks. That is two of five. And then Brett Favre, or Brett Favre, just kidding, guys. Um, that is 38 of 50. Die cut prism. Beautiful card. Okay, guys, highlights definitely of that box. Um, I would say the Lynn Dawson. Rookie quarterback, Otto, Trace McSorley. And then um, we do have the Easton Stick, just for our, our buddy Mickey, rookie. And then Nikhil Harry, rookie patch, Patriot. Could see him in the Super Bowl, that's for sure. And then we did have the redemption um, for Hakeem Butler. All right, guys, not a home run box. The Lynn Dawson... Gave us a little bit of a chance at redemption. Yeah, not really any major hits. I agree. And Lynn Dawson, definitely a nice one. It is on card, but not any big home runs. Okay, guys, we're going to shift over to um, baseball. It is about uh, Bowman Sterling. It's 9.55. It's a pretty fast break. And then we will be moving into um, Panini Black. On the Panini Black, um, if you guys have been following those, those are now selling for $149 a box. You guys got a great deal on them if you bought into the break. If you want to have any individual boxes broken, um, we will break them for you live. And if you break them live, we will ship you the cards, um, everything included, for $135 a box. That is a great deal. Cheaper than you'll get it from Blowout. Cheaper than you'll get anywhere else online on the Panini Black boxes. So think that over if you'd like to give it a shot. Thanks a lot, Tommy, man. We appreciate you joining in. I do wish we could have gotten a little more, man. We've all had those nights. That was one of them, unfortunately. But again, a few good hits out of there, depending on what team you had. And we're going to now hop directly into the Sterling. I'll tell you guys, I know everyone's all over Bowman Chrome right now, but this product is awesome. Um, 
speaking of Bowman Chrome, though, we will have boxes starting tomorrow. Um, so just let us know if you have interest. We have boxes of HDA as well as hobby boxes. So we've got both formats that we are either going to be selling by the box or breaking. We're still working through that. Let us know your interest. Uh, this is the first box of Sterling. And if you guys haven't opened these, these are all interior packed in like box in box interior pack. So they just make it really easy. Um, the good news is the cards are well cared for. I'm going to go ahead and get all these open guys really quickly and then we'll, we'll dive in. Okay. How many people do we have watching for Sterling now? Yeah. I know, Derek, you do hope for a little more out of FOTL, right? All right, Mickey's wanting some Cubbies. Ron Grammer is here for the Astros. Hey, guys, and one thing while we're getting these ready, something that would really help us out, we are a very um, new online store. We would love to open up our own physical store in the future. What you can do to help us, if you like what we're trying to do here, um, is first of all, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, but the biggest thing you could do after that would really be, if you could just write us a short review on Google, it truly takes like 30 seconds. Go to, just look up Underdog of Instinct Collectibles on Google and just write a quick review about us. That really helps us pop up in search as well as it helps our YouTube channel, it helps us get our YouTube channel branded, which allows us to do more breaks and get more products. So that would help us out a lot. We would greatly appreciate it. Um, it is tough to get started. We're doing our best to do that. We're trying to get as much product as we can. We really appreciate you guys um, being willing to break with us um, because we know there are a lot of options. Um, we did try to process this stuff really competitively so you guys would be able to join us for the breaks. So following us means a lot. Okay. Dakota Hudson, Kevin Newman, Usniel Diaz, and 199. Oh, there's a nice hit to start off. That is a Kelbert or Kibit Ruiz, Dodgers huge catching prospect. Estevan Floreal, another big prospect, and then a base Jordan. Okay, that is a better start to this box, being the Kiebert. Who was ready for playoff baseball? I guess everyone did see that Acuna did officially go 40-40 today. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about that. I am a Braves fan. Um, I actually, we have playoff tickets to um, game one of the, D, the um, NLDS and then game four of the um, championship, championship series if we get there. That is the Sheldon Noose auto to 150, Oakland A's prospect. Lazardo, and then Casey Mize. And guys, the nice thing about these, I mean, these base cards, um, I mean, this is not paper here. These are good, good rookie, um, good rookie base to have. Great looking cards. The autos look amazing. Michael Kopech, Julio Pablo Martinez, Noel V. Marte as a pitching prospect for the Mariners. That is a Kyle Wright. Um, Sparkle, 78 to 99. Drew Waters, Braves prospect, and a Garrett Hampson, Rockies rookie. Mickey, you pull a sweet cubby hit, and I will write the greatest review the world has ever seen. Man. All right. No pressure. No pressure at all. Luis Robert base, Bo Bichette base, Joey Bart base. That's a really nice... Um, base pack. I wish we had one of those autos. Um, Jordan Groshans for the Blue Jays. We will be seeing him in the future, not this year. 
Justice Sheffield and Taylor Ward. Mickey, are you a Cubbies fan? Or are you, um, did you just like, you're, you're really prospecting? Trying to get the Nico, which is in here. And a set. Brady Singer, Cabrian Hayes, Charlie Hayes' son. All right, that is a Ella Uris Montero, Cardinals prospect, to 125. Very nice. All right, box number one. Really quickly, uh, Montero Auto, Groshans Auto, Kyle Wright, Kyle Wright Sparkle, Noel V. Marte, Kiebert Rees, and Sheldon Noose. We are going to put those, get those sleeved and loaded for you guys. We're going to go into box number two. What's everyone's prediction um, for the Major League Baseball playoffs? It is hard, hard, hard not to say it's going to be Dodgers and Astros. Um, those two teams are just loaded. If I had to put my money on a team, I, I look at the Astros right now, and I think that they're the, the squad to be. Just the pitching they have with having Verlander and Greinke in the playoffs back-to-back -back is just a huge advantage. I mean, the Dodgers are loaded, though. I do think the Braves, not just because I'm a Braves fan, I do think they could go on a run, though. Um, they definitely have got the offense. They've got some young pitchers. Um, I think something that we've all got to watch is there's a number of players that we could see spike because of how they perform in the playoffs. Um, one of the guys that I love, now he's not an unknown name, but um, I've been telling Matt this um, for months now. Justin Verlander is criminally underappreciated. Um, when you think about, if you look at his totals, you look at his war, and you put him against Kershaw or other pitchers, um, you know, what I would say your echelon, top echelon pitcher, pitcher Scherzer, Kershaw, um, and Verlander. I mean, the guy is, a, is definitely, I think, the the greatest active pitcher we have. He's likely going to get another Cy Young this year. Um, and you can buy a Sterling auto patch rookie of his ungraded for a hundred bucks. Um, I mean, that's just a great freaking deal. I lost out on one on eBay last night. Um, if you are buying any, any, any singles right now, I would look at Verlander. I mean, naturally Alvarez if he continues to put up numbers in the playoffs, could do great. I think Bregman cards could definitely see a spike. Um, Acuna, I would be very curious to see, now that he's officially 40-40, what we see from him. Um, I mean, it is hard not to say that what Acuna can do is in the Trout neighborhood. And Acuna is on a team that looks like it could be competitive for the next three to four years. Mickey is going for prospects. Okay, guys, we're diving in to box number two, looking for a Wander Franco, of course, among others, Tuki Toussaint, Dakota Hudson, Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles. That's a sparkle. Number two, gosh, it's hard to read these to 99. I'll move that away from my beer, guys. Don't worry. Taylor Trammell traded away from the Reds. Gavin Lux, Dodger super prospect. Elahurius Montero, the second one. We've got to look this guy up. I've got to tell you guys, I know baseball pretty well. I do not know a lot about him. Matt, can you find out Montero, Elahurius Montero for the Cardinals since we did pull two of him in two boxes? I'm just wondering if somebody should be excited about that. You know, guys, why is it that, you know, you're watching a break or you're doing a break like we are and you get two autos out of a out of a couple boxes? It's never, you know, of the Wander Franco variety. It's always of the guy you've got to look up online. Jeff McNeil base. By the way, guys, I love Jeff McNeil. Best hitter. One of the best hitters in baseball. Oh, look at this. This is for you, Mark Papp. But you didn't buy the Giants. Marco Luciano. Giants, soon to be mega prospect. Really nice card. 
And that was a clinic, a Jerry Clinic base, by the way. I know people are really high on him. Hey guys, um, that's someone you need to be. If you don't know who Marco Luciano is, you need to know who he is. Um, Corbin Burns, Sean Reed Foley, Jordan Adams for the Angels. Luis Urias Sparkle to 99. Big infield prospect for the Padres. Ruiz Base, Alec Baum. All right, one more to go in box number two. Pat's informed me that Montero is the number five cards prospect. Number five cards prospect, okay. So you're saying there's a chance. All right. That is a CNL Perez um, Astros prospect to 199. And we've got a, oh, guys, can you see what's behind this? Not meaning to get you excited about a serial number Perez, but I just want to build the suspense for just one second. Everybody, hold on. Wander Franco Redemption Refractor Parallel. I do not know if the person who's watching that's got the Rays, but that is a big hit, guys. Really nice. Really nice. I'm going to pull that over. Okay, guys, I can recap that really quickly for you, but, it, I mean, it starts with this. This is really good. Um, then we got the Urias um, um, Sparkle, Jordan Adams, the Luciano Auto, which is oh, still a really strong card, and the Montero, and then the Grayson Rodriguez. Man, good. That was a good box, guys. That is what a good box looks like. Not a cubby, Mickey, but yes, and the Franco is blue. That was a really good box. Always bet on the underdog, guys. That's what I've got to say when we have a good box, you know. We might be doing this in the card dungeon. That is truly look like a dungeon if I showed you pictures of it. Um, Matt thinks he's in like a Saw movie right now. Um but we can get some big hits down here. So, all right, guys, let's keep that going. Hey, guys, if you're joining us and watch and you bought into Panini Black, we will be doing that immediately. Wrapping this up, we have just got um, five mini boxes to go, and we will jump straight into Black after we're done with Black. If you want to open um, us to crack a box of sterling for you, um, we will do that. Um, 200 bucks a box, and we will open it for you. It's 200 bucks a box. We'll break it live and ship it to you. Okay? Um, now, if you want to break it yourself, we will charge you a little bit more because it's more expensive for us to ship it to you whole than it is for us to break it for you online and ship it to you. 200 is a really competitive price, guys. All right, Pap, you're saying you want us to crack a box of Sterling after we do the Panini Black? No, I agree with you. The Luciano is, those days are behind us. I noticed some more people just subscribed. I know I keep saying this, but guys, we're getting to Panini Black in just a moment. We are wrapping up the last box of um, Bowman Sterling. Really appreciate you guys joining in. All right, Madrigal, Pash, Jordan Kalinic. That's a nice card right there, guys. Um, number 29, 199 Refractor Rookie. Oh, another big-time prospect. That is a Julio Rodriguez to 175. If you guys don't know who Julio Rodriguez is, you'll know very, very soon. Big-time bat coming up in the Mariners organization. All right, guys, this is getting much better. We kind of had a rough box 
of um, Panini Spectra FOTL. If you bought into Sterling, you are feeling pretty good, especially if you've got the Rays, Giants, or Mariners. Frutus Nova for the Astros. Oh, yeah, Pap, you want that last box? Of course you do. Of course you do. Fernando, Fernando Tatis base. Keston Hura base. Using Aldea's base. Suli Matias for the Dodgers. Now, I believe he is also, you should feel pretty good about that. I believe he's still in single A, but very well thought of. Then a Kirilov base as well in that pack. And guys, I know I'm not going through the base very much, but the base cards are not um, are not bad to have, and we've had some good hits come along in those. And all, all, all the base will ship on Sterling. Christian Santana for the Dodgers. Another Dodgers rookie auto. Last pack, guys. Bryce Wilson, Daniel De Los Santos, Luis Urias, auto 108 to 150. Pete Alonzo, rookie. There at the end, by the way, just base rookie. Okay, definitely the biggest hit of this box um, was the Julio Dart Rodriguez, for sure. Really nice card. All right, guys. I need someone to speak up that bought in on um, the YouTube chat or the Facebook chat that bought into Black. The first person to speak up, I'm going to have you pick out the six boxes of this case that you want to open. Are you getting anyone on Facebook? I'm not. All right. That's um, Roto Badger. Okay. He was first. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just need you to pick out, again, 1, 7 to 12. If you'll pick out the 6 we're going to break, I will pull them out of the box. Just put it in the comments with commas, commas separating the numbers, and I will grab those boxes, and those will be our 6 that we break. And, I, and also, oh, he wants 7 through 12. All right. And we will sell these other six, guys, if you want them. 135, opened and shipped. I know you guys can hear my dog in the background. I apologize. She is ferocious. What's a game check there, Matt? I did email the NFL to see if we could dual stream this break tonight so we could have, you know, half the screen the game and half of it the break. And I know you guys are shocked to hear this. The NFL did not get back to us today. Maybe we'll hear from them tomorrow. I'm sure they were just behind on email. I thought it would be a pretty good chance, you know, to boost their viewership. Still 14 in the Still 14 and a nothing. Well, I think my teaser, I've got the I've got the Jags straight up, and then I've got a teaser of over 32 and Jags covering by eight. But that was just for fun. Did not put much on it. Do you have the Chargers as well, Mickey, in this, um, in the black break too? All right, guys. 
we've got those six opened. If you guys haven't seen this product yet, it is awesome. I mean, it is just a beautiful, beautiful product. Rodney Anderson on the DL this year now for the year. Rookie um, auto for the Bengals. Man, Memphis is rolling strong here. That is a Daryl Anderson white auto. It's called the, um, I thought this is a patch. I don't know what they call these. This is a black rookie auto um, patch. And that's number to 25. Adam Thielen patch, number to 35. And then that was um, AJ Green. You guys saw the Rodney Anderson and Matt Ryan. Really nice Henderson. Need a Campbell and a Greer. All right. Saquon Base, Trayvon Williams, rookie for the Bengals, Riley Ridley, Calvin's brother, that's a rookie patch auto, number 25, very nice, Jared Goff, dual patch, 45 of 75. And then just Christian Kirk, um, base refractor, 21 of 25. Okay, and guys, all these will ship. Um, gosh. Okay, could not get those off the rack. Ah, there's a Minshew. Little Thursday night action, number to that's eighteen of twenty or eighteen of seventy-five. David Sills, the fifth, just to be clear, not the fourth, the fifth. That's a rookie auto. Number to seventy-five. Dwayne Haskins, go Buckeyes. Rookie patch auto. That is really sick, guys. That is actually the card feature on the promo poster for this product. Really nice. That is a very sweet card. Curtis Martin, Hall of Fame patch there to 75. And then Aaron Rodgers, um, serial base to 25. Well, that, um, things are looking up, friends. Dwayne Haskins, really nice. I wonder, it's not going to be long until we see Dwayne. Find me a nice cheese hit for my first break with you. I would love to do that, guys. Big hits for you guys. And we would also appreciate you guys giving us great feedback. But as you know, we don't pack the packs. We just rip the packs and try to chase them down for you. But um, we do love it. I mean, we want all you guys to hit something big. Just like when we're opening stuff and we want to hit something big. And right now, I just want to open this pack. Um, but don't have any fingernails. Okay, I'm going to have to give this a slight cut just to get it. I have a friend who always thinks it's a good sign when it's tough to open a pack. He's convinced that that means there's something big coming. Jamal Adams, Ed Oliver, Bill's rookie. That's number 289, Bill's Rookie Auto. All right, another rookie quarterback patch, Jared Stidham. Really nice card. Calvin Johnson, Hall of Famer, one of 10, dual patch. That's a really, I should say he should be a Hall of Famer. I don't believe he is yet. He is not eligible. Okay, I think Dwayne Haskins is still carrying the day for us. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Dave. You, you just asked that question. Asking you shall receive. We pulled that Stidham right after you posted that, I believe. Okay, Cameron Jordan Base. Baker Mayfield patch. And that is to 35. My son would love that card. He is a his name is Baker. And a Joshua Jacobs rookie patch. And that is a really nice looking rookie patch, by the way. Potential rookie of the year, numbered to 75. Rod Smith, Broncos Hall of Famer. Had a great career with them. He's now made a fortune in real estate, 13 of 20. And Julio Jones Space. All right, guys. This box is looking good. Hey, thanks for subscribing, guys. I see you guys hopping in. And we do have more of this to open, so if you guys are wanting to buy in, let us know. Again, um, 135 a box. Best deal you can find. Cameron Jordan. Great defensive end for the Saints. Auto. Debo. Not from Friday, but from the 49ers. 46 to 75. Rookie auto patch. It's a nice car. He's off to a good start. Carson Wentz. Dual patch to 25. And then Trace McSorley, McSorley serial base. All right, guys. That is the break on black. Um, definitely the two biggest highlights. Dwayne Haskins. Auto patch. Really sick. Josh Jacobs. Auto patch. And then we have a few other nice hits. You've got the Debo. Got the Rod Smith. I like that card. I'm a big Rod Smith fan, though. Baker Patch. Very nice. Jarrett Stidham for the guys who bought the Patriots. And then you've got a Calvin Ridley rookie patch as well. Among other, there's, I mean, we've got a whole stack of serial base here. I mean, for and other autos that we hit, like the Trayvon Williams, among others. So really good. I mean, really good. Six boxes, guys. This product is loaded with hits. That's the nice thing about it. Um, I'm going to give guys a second to see if... You're welcome, Dave. Glad you got it, man. Um, going to pause here for a minute and see if you guys wanted to open anything else. We've got um, Bowman and um, Bowman Sterling, 200 a box. We'll open it and ship it to you. That's um, you know full price on that. Um, no, no, nothing. 200 and it'll get shipped to you. Um, we have... We have black at 120, what do we say? 135, right? Yeah, 135. Can't misspeak. 135 a box. Um, and then we have, um, we also, if you want to open some Bowman Heritage high number, we've got that at 80 a box. Um, we've got Origins football. We've got stadium baseball. Um, you tell us, and um, we've got it and would love to open it for you. I'm wondering if our YouTube is stalling out. I think it times out. Okay. Mark Pat will do an HHN personal break. Heritage high number. All right. Let's do it, Mark. Let's do it, man. I'm going to get these off the table. We are going to be breaking um, heritage high number for Mr. Pap. Let me give you those two. These, this is the Haskins and the Jacobs. Yeah, Pap, we'll do that. Thanks for, um, I appreciate you wanting to put us to work, Mark. But hey, man, if we can hang out with you in person, man, we'll just hang out with you virtually and open wax for you.
I love to open Heritage, man. I could open this stuff all night, so you will not exhaust me. And then you have to hear my running commentary on the players you hit. Uh, okay. Mark, do you want to open this first or last? I know you're nervous about the 50th anniversary single card pack. Hey, sorry about that, Mickey, man. I wish we could have got you something, buddy. We do appreciate the business. And um, I hope the next hit or the next time you break with us, it will definitely hook you up. All right. We will um, we'll, we'll go ahead and get this for you, Mark, just because I know you're, you're antsy. Dennis Martinez, not the pitcher. And it is a crappy buyback indeed. It's a Dennis Minky. I said Dennis Martinez, Dennis Minky. I totally misread that. Um, the great thing about this buyback, Mark, is the incredible centering on it. I mean, you almost um, have a little gray on the left side on this beautiful card. Congratulations, man. I know you want to watch that. Um, I'll just put it right here for you so you can watch that as we open the rest. It probably, um, you probably want, I mean, it'll be tough to beat that card in this box for sure. And Mark, would you like me to read you, um, would you like me to read you card by card as we go through this? BGS 10 black label for sure. Yeah, we probably um, will do an old school screw down for you on that card um, if, if that works for you. You know, the kind that you can like only fix and put in like a true real shoe box. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you do not, see, Mark, you do not want us to read you card by card. Okay. Good to know. The worst part on this, Mark, is that we're gonna have, are you, we're gonna have to go through and look for the SSPs for you. Um, so you are creating some work for us. We recognize that. I do love this set. I mean, it is awesome. Okay, we'll go through a row at a time, man. How about that? All right. How about that? Let's see. Hap, Fuentes, Dozier, Liriano... Hey, very nice, Mark. Very nice. Jeff McNeil, Rookie Auto. Seriously, I love this guy. That's a great looking card. All right, man. You might be able to bump off Dennis Minky after that hit. Sinzel, Rookie. I know you're a fan. I do love that photo. Of Sinzel Alonzo. Now Alonzo does Alonzo does have an SSP in this, but I don't believe that's the one. I looked this up earlier, and I think it's a different pose on a short print. But not entirely sure. We'll have to check that out. Aloy. Uh, well, everyone's favorite pitcher, a household name. Gio Gonzalez.
No, I agree with you, Mark. You um you are playing with house money on the McNeil. That's a good that is a very good hit. A very good hit. Well, let's try it this way. There we go. So, Mark, are you on the road, man, or are you um, in Chicago? Hey guys, who else do we have watching? We appreciate you guys um, hanging around with us tonight. Saw something shiny in that last pack. That's a that's your scratch off, by the way, Mark. That was Andrews. He's your team captain. Love that Keston Hero rookie. I'm a Hero fan. Christian Walker had a great year for the Diamondbacks. Big surprise. Tatis. You know, is that... We might want to look that up. That could be the alternate for him. Vladdy. So that was Vladdy and um, Tatis, by the way, in the same pack. Christian Yelich. Vladdy rookie performers. Man, talk about this guy. Wow. I guess you guys saw last, um, I think it was this past weekend, he took a fastball to the face from Fernando Rodney. It was brutal. Brutal, brutal. Like that's just the regular that's tatis. a that's the regular tatis okay i was just being hopeful just being hopeful we'll still take that though it's a good looking card mark have you been buying anything else lately man Jacksonville's up 17 to nothing. Start of the fourth. 17 to nothing. Well, they're going to cover. But that is not looking good for my over. So we should. These have what? These, don't, these are two autos per box. Is that right? Is it two or one? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think you're wrong. Oh, so this is your first wax since the National, man. Breaking it with Underdog. And wise choice. You're awarded with a McNeil. It looks like just one autograph for Relic per box. Oh, okay. So then we are likely out on that. Though there's some other stuff in here that he can get. I forgot what they call is that what they call they call the chrome? That geo yes. is that's just their chrome. Chrome insert. Looks like you're gonna have a box of stadium club up next. 
Can you check our price on that stadium club? I'm, I'm trying to remember. I just want to tell them the right price. I think it's... Oh gosh, is it 70? I'm not for sure. No, and I could have sworn that Chavis is a short print too. I've looked all these up, and now I'm getting them mixed up, or maybe I'm just really trying to be optimistic. See, I thought the Chavis base looks has a photo similar to that one. Austin Riley, oh man, what a moment in the sun he had this summer, and then he slowed down. All right, Mark, that is it. Mark, we're checking on the stadium club. I think, I, actually, hold on. Do we have stadium club online? No. Yeah. Um, sorry, Mark. We should. We had a. We we had. A, um, I know. I quoted it last show, and um, my network cheaper than blah. We should have had it on our website. We took it down because I think we were going to break it. Yeah, Mark, um, we can do 65 on that, um, which is a really good price. It's cheaper than blowout. If you want to. Totally up to you, man. No pressure at all. We appreciate you um, busting with us, man. And that's for anybody else online. If you want to do a box of Stadium Club, we've got five. All right. I want you to pick, man. You choose. There you go. Give me a number, man. Okay. Well, I believe it is this one. I am going to move um, your rookies and your geo off the table. I know you want to keep a close eye on that, but I'll let you see it one more time. We're going to move it off the table for you. Um, and then we're going to move this base off the table. Mark, um, you tell me if you want the base or not, man. I can de we'll definitely, you know, get you all the stuff. Whatever you want, man, we'll we'll take care of you. Um, you know, we'll get those packed up. All right. Oh, you said cook picks. You gave me the chance, man. Too late. Too late. This is an oversized box load, really the only reason you buy a stadium club. This might be your first Lou Gehrig card, Matt. I mean, Mark, sorry. There you go. It is so jumbo, it really won't even fit on the screen. That is actually a great looking card. Really cool. All right.
All right. Now you've got two Encore auto, Encore autos in every box. And the one downside for you, Mark, on this box, as you think about getting to bed, is that I really love these cards. And I just love to look at them. So I might stop on like random players that you don't care about and probably have little or no value and just look at the cards. So, you know, settle in because that might happen. Just a little card porn. I mean, much better than probably, especially in your wife's opinion, than watching you porn. So, what can you say, man? Card porn over you porn every day of the week. Oh, I agree. I like to look at the base. I actually, I know you'd find this hard to believe. I really want the Jose Barrios auto out of this set. To go ahead and add that to Baker and Weston's college fund on their amazing Jose Barrios collection. But they have no idea exists and will probably never care about. Actually, that, that card facing up right now, I love that Albies card. Is just a good example of the photography. You really should build this set, man. You're a set builder. I will we'll make sure to get you the base on this if you want. It's a um, it's a beautiful, beautiful set. Well, if I can open that one up. I mean, for example, I mean, look at that Alberto Mondesi card. So, was at the industry summit this week. Um, hot topics were allocation, grading fraud, um, as well as e-commerce were definitely some of the big, big topics covered. I was actually really impressed with Beckett Grading Services, how they handled questions from the um, hobby community about um, the fraud issues. They are working hard. They know how these guys are doing it. It's incredibly hard to catch. Something that you guys that watch the boards probably better than I do know is um, apparently in this vintage stuff, what they're doing is they're flattening the cards incredibly flat and then trimming them. So when they get measured... They actually measure out appropriately, but they've just been smashed. They're so flat. And um, it makes it really, one of the areas that makes it really difficult to detect. Um, overall, of course, the numbers are still incredibly low. Um, but definitely, the I mean, I think Beckett is aware and they're working on it. I, I do think that they're also working on their systems just to ensure that there is not routing going on of submissions. Okay, let's do this. Bryce Wilson. Oh, man. I mean, really? I mean, just a good example of a beautiful, beautiful card. Ted Williams. Such a great looking set. I'm going to go a little slower. I mean, look at that Clemente. Man. Frazier. Former Red. One of Mark Pop's favorite players. Billy Hamilton. OBS machine. OPS machine. Probably the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful swings in baseball, Chipper Jones. Stan Musial. I mean, man, these are great looking cards. I'm glad you bought this, Mark. I actually haven't opened a box of this myself. Manny Machado from his signing day. This is my only complaint about the set. I mean, do we really need to have a warp speed card in the stadium club set? You've got these beautiful cards, and then you do warp speed. Another great card of Benintendi.
Adrian Beltre red. Here's an auto. Taylor Ward. I've got to tell you, I don't know a lot about Taylor Ward. He's an, he's an angel, I believe, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm usual red parallel, exactly, Mark. We will, you know, go back through in the red parallels. I think I've got a... Sorry, guys, we lost um, our our computer feed so we can see the chat. Ty Cobb. That's a good charge. Albert Pool Holes. Very nice card. Wilson Contreras, Chrome, those are awesome. My favorite card in the set, seriously. That card is insane. Bob Gibson. Is that not on? It is on. Sorry guys, we're trying to get our feed back up. I cannot see comments for a second. All right, one auto so far. Let's go ahead and pull those reds out for you, too. By the way, another just beautiful card, Sammy, from that set. Adrian Beltre, red. Really quick, cool card of Laureano too. Just a sweet card. I just love the photography. Yeah, Mutual Red. That's a cool one, by the way. That's him and Bob Gibson stretching each other out. All right. My boy in an amazing card. Jose Barrios, just for you, Mark. Maybe you'll let me have that one. Bryce Harper, everyone. Another cheesy mini insert in the set. The Power Zone, really. Totally unnecessary tops. I wish you'd ran that one, Bonnie. I love this card, too. That's just a great looking card, the Kofax. You just need to have that one in the stack just because it's beautiful. Great card of Soto. As a Braves fan, one of my favorites of Albies. Because I'm going to put this up just so I can see comments for a second, Mark. All right. Yeah, these are awesome. Sticking with the trend of bad mini subsets in the set. The Tony Gwynn. I do love this card. I mean, as a Red fan's mark, how can you not love that one? Gorgeous. Boggs, Wade Boggs, eat more chicken. Tops was thing three when they inserted Vladimir in this set, knowing that his son has the rookie card. That's a great shot. Vladimir and Expos. Devers hit his 30th homer last night. What an amazing season this guy's had. Really flying under the radar, I think, just because of all the other... Um, great, great seasons that are being had. D. Gordon probably doesn't deserve a card that cool, but heck, he's got one, man. Way to go, D. George Brett Red. 
great card. And there, of course, this iconic one. Not the best rookie season in baseball, but definitely the most overhyped. And I still think we've got to see great stuff from him. Right behind him, which was probably in the same pack, the Alloy. Jeets. Willie Calhoun, um, he has not fulfilled his baseball potential yet, but his hair potential is in full bloom. Ozzy Smith in street clothes. Oh, warp speed, Mike Trout. Yeah, that is your first rookie of note. I really, you should only get this card if it's autographed. You guys know how much I love Dale Murphy. That's just an awesome card. Austin Meadows Red. You've got a redemption coming right behind this mark. Yes, your former Tennessee volunteer. Kristen Stewart, base auto. Followed by Bo. Great shot. One of the best signatures in baseball of active players right now is Jackie Bradley Jr., by the way. Oh, that's from the Hall of Fame ceremony. I did not know that. Hammer and Hank. As I've been hyping him, you know, for the last three months. Verlander, great looking card. Yeah, you really, you haven't gotten the rookies. I mean, I was hoping, I'd like to see a Tatis in here. But we haven't. Javier Instavision. And you actually thought Sport Flix was dead, but it's not. There it is. Cool card of Sano. Great photography. These vintage autos, I mean, are what they really nailed. That P. Reese. I mean, that's just a cool one. Cool card, man. Man. We are not going to pull you a Tatis out of this box. There's the trout. Really cool. Kikuchi card as well. The Beebs, red. Shane Bieber, red. Christy Matthewson. Winter is coming. And then Corey Seager and Duke Snyder. All right, man, that was the um, mark. You um, were looking good with that Jeff McNeil in the last box. Stadium Club, not as big, but you did get a Taylor Ward. And the Kristen Stewart Redemption. A couple other things. Austin Meadows Red, Jeter, Eloy, Vlad. George Red, Koufax Base, Musial Red, Beltre Red, um, the Contreras, Chrome Stadium, which is a really cool card, um, as well as the Pools Red. I'll scan those for short prints, too. Oh, I agree, Mark. All right, man, you got to get back to work. Um, I'll shoot you a text about... Um, what you want and don't want shipped to you, but we'll get you anything, anything you want, man. Thanks a lot. Hey, everyone else. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching tonight. Um, before we hop off, just a reminder, we've got um, Bowman coming, a uh, Bowman Chrome coming both 
base hobby boxes um, and the HTA boxes. We have an Origins break coming up. We've got more Panini Black. Um, and we also have a um, Case of Spectra coming. So let us know what you'd like to see. We'd love to hear from you. Please join our Facebook group page where we buy, sell, trade, and post deals. It's called The Underdogs. You can find it on Facebook. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Always bet on The Underdog. See ya.